I didn't think we'd ever be here again, but here we are talking about how to properly and responsibly poop in the woods. And we're gonna talk about the purpose of using a wag bag and why it's important when you are going into areas that require wag bags. What I've got in my hand here is a poop trowel. This is one method of how you can responsibly poop in the woods. Dig a cat hole that is six to eight inches deep, go in it, bury it, pack out your toilet paper and do that following standard leave no trace principles of 200 feet from a water source, 200 feet from a campsite where you're camping. And that is a responsible and good way to use the bathroom in the backcountry. But what if you find yourself in a situation where using and digging a cat hole just doesn't make sense? And that's where a wag bag comes into play. Now what you've got here is a place to just basically put your human waste, your poop, in and not have to dig a cat hole. So, for example, places that require you to use a wag bag are gonna be high use areas that have just a ton of people using that particular area and it is just overrun and you don't have really good places to use the bathroom. A good example being a desert canyon that is very narrow that is going to flood and it's just gonna wash up everything that has been buried anyway down into the sand. Those are the kinds of places that using a wag bag is very important. It, it just makes it so that it will contaminate water sources and springs and make it smell really funny and it's just disgusting because often in those areas you don't have a lot of places to be able to go. The other aspect about the desert specifically is the soil does not have the proper amount of bacteria and things to break down and decompose the human waste. And so a wag bag is just the answer to being able to take care of those areas that we go into so that we don't contaminate them and create disgusting scenarios for the natural area that is there. So with that said, let's talk about how to use a wag bag because it is one of those things that anytime I introduce a wag bag to somebody and they're like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm not carrying my poop in my backpack. Well, it's really not as bad as you think it is. So this particular brand is Restop. You can get these on Amazon. They're about $7 a piece. There are other places that you can get them, but they are a Mylar bag that has like a Ziploc thing on it here. And then on the inside, you've got a alcohol sanitizing wipe. You've got a fairly generous amount of toilet paper that should be enough to get yourself cleaned up really good. So you got those two things in there. And then you've got this kind of oversized garbage bag that is here on the inside. And then there is this like silica type of powder in the bottom. It's got a nice smell to it, kind of like lemon fresh. You want me to keep putting my face in the wag bag? So when I'm ready to do my business, I'm gonna open up my wag bag. I'm gonna pull everything out, get ready. And then I'm gonna open this up, drop my drawers down, and I'm just gonna put this under my butt, do the whole Asian squat thing, you know? that a lot of people can't do with their knees, but I can. And then you just do your thing, just da -da 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 -da. I pooped into a bag, okay? So then I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna grab, just like you would with a standard trash bag. I'm gonna pull this closed, tie it up, roll it down inside of that, and push the air out. This is always the fun part. Turn your head away. <laughs> and then I'm gonna zip it closed. And what I like to do when I'm using a wag bag is I'll carry an extra gallon bag. So I'm not just putting this in there, I like to create a second seal. So I'll fold this up. Here's one benefit of the wag bag is if it's winter and you use this, put it in your sleeping bag and you'll be nice and warm. <laughs> you shouldn't do that, don't, don't do that. But put this into a gallon bag and then put it into the bottom of your backpack and 
it's really not that not that big of a deal guys but that is your wag bag and then you just walk it to your trash and toss it in the trash and you're good to go okay so just to recap here real quick if you are in an area that does not require wag bags i'm not saying that in any way you have to use a wag bag to responsibly poop in the woods follow leave no trace principles use a poop trowel or a tent stake dig at least six to eight inches into the ground cover it after you are done carry out your toilet paper and be 200 feet from a water source 200 feet from your campsite and that is a responsible way to use the bathroom and go poop in the woods but if you are in an area that requires wag bags that are sensitive areas and anything that is going to be kind of harmful by introducing your human waste to that area then a wag bag is a great solution and it's really not as bad as everybody makes it out to be it really isn't and to just kind of like say one more thing about well it doesn't really matter where you poop because it's just normal and stuff not true animals eat the stuff that is around them and they poop and that is natural for their environment we are eating things that are not natural to the environment that we are going backpacking and hiking in and so introducing our human waste to those areas does create an impact and if we are doing that with a lot of people in particular areas then that is going to be something that causes problems for a lot of things down the road water sources animals that kind of thing but wag bags thanks for watching guys if you're not subscribed to the channel do you like it when i wave my poop trowel in the air if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe hope you have an awesome day and just hope you're doing well everybody's safe and healthy appreciate you guys we'll catch you on the next video see you later